Hello friends, my name is Lauren and welcome back to my channel. So I'm currently filming this after NaNoWriMo, but before I jump into all my tips and how I did and all that kind of stuff, here's a few clips of how my week went from my last week, week four of NaNoWriMo. If you want to just jump right into the tips and all I have to say, just jump into this part of the video and we'll talk about it then. Anyways, let's see how I did. Hello, it is day 24 of NaNoWriMo and I'm just at over 300 words. It is about 11 p.m. and I to get my head in the game if I'm trying to write 20,000 words by the end of NaNoWriMo, which is in six days. So I'm going to try to write a thousand words today. Hopefully I get there, or at least get somewhere close there, because I know that I haven't been writing a whole lot lately, and it's very easy for me to give up and go to sleep or just to chill. But I know that I have to do this, because I need to hit this milestone. It's a goal of mine, and I'm really not committed, but kind of really committed to at least hitting 20,000, so I'm gonna write for a little bit more tonight, hopefully hitting a thousand or somewhere close to that, and yeah, I'm trying my best to get some creative juices going, it's a little bit hard, but we're trying our best, and yeah, till next time. Hello, it is day 26 of NaNoWriMo, and I just hit 15,000 words. I'm much off track, but still a milestone nonetheless. I am questioning whether or not I'm gonna get to 20, because I realize I have no idea absolutely none on where I want my story to go. So I'm kind of, kind of have an idea of right now, but then as soon as I'm done this part, I kind of am just gonna be struggling. So I'm gonna try my best to get to 20,000 if I can't. You know what, oh well, I've tried my best. I've written quite a bit, much more than I've ever written in my entire life. So still a success. And for once, I'm not filming at 12 um, a.m. It's only 9.20, so love that. And uh, yeah, 15,000 words today. I'm glad I finally hit it, so woo, until next time. Okay, so I'm currently filming this on December 1st after NaNoWriMo is done, and if you watched my videos before, you know that I was trying to hit a 20,000 word count goal, not 50,000. However, I ended up finishing NaNoWriMo with just over 15,000 words. Not my greatest accomplishment to date, by far. It wasn't that good. It's, yeah, it was just... <laughs> Wasn't that good. One thing I really found in my story is that I kind of had an idea where I wanted to go in the beginning. I had a basic outline, but I had no idea how to get from point A to point B. And then I started falling like out of love with my story. I didn't know what to do next with it. So I just put it aside for the last couple days of NaNoWriMo. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go back to it because I do feel like I don't know what I want to do with it and it's not as fun now that I don't really know what I want. So I think I'm just gonna drop my story for now. But I do have to say NaNoWriMo was a fantastic experience as I've only started really enjoying writing in these last few several months. So doing this and hitting over 15,000 words showed me that I am capable of writing quite a bit, coming up with a decent storyline, and just being able to actually write rather than stare at a blank page for 17 hours. So obviously I definitely failed NaNoWriMo, I failed my own word count goal, I failed the 50,000 word count goal, but I hit 15,000 so not too shabby. If you did NaNoWriMo and you hit 50,000 words or you hit some kind of word count goal, bravo to you. It's very difficult, I know from this year, personal experience. So if you accomplished it, then congrats to you because honestly that's so hard and just, wow, props to you. If NaNoWriMo sounds like something you'd be interested in doing just basically in the month of November trying to hit a 50,000 word count goal, then I would say here are some tips that might help you for trying it out next year. One, there's two types of people that I've heard about when writing like a book or a novel or something like that. There's pantsers and there's plotters. A plotter is exactly what it sounds like. They plan out everything, they do an outline, like a detailed outline, they plan out their chapters, who their characters are from front to back. They know everything about their story, more or less, like 80, 90%. Then there's people that are pantsers and they basically go in with little to no outline or idea of what they're going with. And for me, that was me this year. I had a little bit of an outline because I changed my story idea at the last second, so I didn't do too much planning. And I think that was my downfall for this year. Next year, if I do NaNoWriMo or even in my writing like now, I think I'm gonna try to really plan out my story more. That way when I go to actually write the story, if I can't figure out an idea, I can just go back to my planning stages and be like, hey, wait, I already figured out this whole thing. I can just do it now. I definitely think that'll help me because just coming up with ideas off the top of your head can be a little difficult sometimes if you've ever done anything creative before. And so I definitely think trying to do it in advance a little bit, just plan out more rather than just write with no idea where I'm going is gonna benefit me. I know there's many people that prefer the other way, but for me, next year or even in my writing now, I'm gonna try to be more of a plotter than a pantser. My second tip would be to definitely hit the word count goal every day. I think I only hit the word count goal about four times in 30 days. So, not very good, four or five times, not very good. 
So definitely stick to that word count goal. In the beginning, I knew where I wanted my story to go. So other than just sitting down and getting the words out, it was pretty relatively easy as I knew what I wanted to happen. As I went on, I did not know what I wanted to happen, hence I ended up slowing down quite a bit. But definitely, if you know what you want to do, but you're just like, you can't get yourself to sit down and just start writing, just force yourself to do it because if you don't hit that word count goal one day, the rest of your days are going to be panicking about trying to complete it. It's not going to be a good time. Try to hit that word count goal. And I don't really have too many other tips than that, but one more third tip that I do want to say is that write something you're passionate about. Not even passionate about, but you're interested in. One thing I found in my story is that I was really interested in the story idea of it, but once I got down to like the logistics of it, there was a lot of research I had to do and a lot of components that I was like, how does this gonna, how does this gonna work? And then I just kind of like, when I was trying to write that part, I was trying to write in chronological order, I got to that part and I was like, this isn't fun for me anymore. I don't know much about this. I don't know how I wanna write it. It wasn't that good. So I honestly think that was a big part of why I didn't really want to continue going on with my story that much is because one, I didn't know what I wanted to happen. And two, there's just so much I didn't understand and I just didn't really enjoy that part of it. So if you're gonna be writing something, just make sure it's something that you're really passionate about or interested in or that you know a lot about. And then finally, my overall thoughts of NaNoWriMo, would I do it again? 100%. Next year, you can count me in for doing it again. I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna have a better outline. I'm gonna have my characters down. I'm gonna have my story all planned out and ready to go. I, I really like the idea of trying to hit 50,000 words in a month because it just is that goal. You can realistically hit it if you work on that word count goal every day. So it's not like it's a huge thing. It's like a really good idea that I'm very excited to try again next year. I would definitely do it again for me and I also recommend it if you find competition with yourself, something you really enjoy, or even competition with a small group of friends, then definitely, yeah, I'd say give it a try as it worked for me or it didn't necessarily work for me, but I really enjoyed the concept of it and I definitely will plan on doing it again. So I'm sure if you, if this sounds like something you might be interested in, just give it a try. If you completed NaNoWriMo or you attempted it and failed or whatever your circumstance is, comment below, tell me your experiences, tell me your overall thoughts and if you're gonna be doing it next year. Overall, I'd say NaNoWriMo was a fantastic experience. My first year with it was good. I can't wait for next year and I'm overall just happy that I gave it a try. Those are my thoughts on NaNoWriMo 2018 and I will see you next year for NaNoWriMo round two. Until next time, bye.